Hello, this is Mary from May Arts, and today I'm going to share with you how I've created this sweet little hot air balloon Christmas ornament. It's so easy to do, and it adds such a lovely touch to any Christmas tree. I began by grabbing some patterned paper, and I'm going to grab lots of different patterns, but you could use the same exact pattern. It's up to you. Uh, I folded my paper in half, and then I just free cut out the shape of a balloon. It's a super simple shape, easy to do, and because you've folded your paper in half, it's automatically going to be symmetrical on both sides. So this is going to work beautifully. Then you're going to use that first balloon that you cut out to cut out seven more. You're going to need a total of eight for this project. And then I grabbed some of my favorite Mayards products. We have the burlap cording, and this is going to be the backbone of our project. It's what's going to hold the whole project together. So we're going to need probably, I'm going to say, about 18 inches worth. And then I grabbed some silk ribbon and tons of different laces, as well as smaller lengths of that burlap cording. I've got a small spool and some Memento Lux ink as well as some stays on, and then a tiny little jingle bell. How cute is that, right? And then some vintage buttons. And all of these we're going to use to put this project together. Let's start with the little banner that we're going to put on the front of our balloon. I have some of this canvas. It's plain. It's an ivory canvas ribbon. And it's a little thick for my particular alpha stamps that I have. So easy fix. We're just going to trim down each of the sides and give it a fun French look. It's going to shabby it up a little bit and it's super simple to do. You just trim off each of the sides and then you're going to pull off some of the extra threads which is going to give it a pretty little fringe. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'm going to stamp the word Mary and then I'll be right back. And now our banner says Mary, and I absolutely love using the word Mary for Christmas time because I'm Mary, and people tell you have a Merry Christmas, and I always have a Merry Christmas anyway. So now we're going to add just a little color to shabby up our ribbon, and we're going to set it aside to dry while we build our ornament. I'm going to start by folding each of my balloon pieces in half, and then I'm going to lay them out in the order that I want to glue them together in. This is going to make it super easy when we go to glue it together because they're going to all be ready for us. Now I'm going to glue each of the balloon pieces to the previous one. You want to make sure to get glue all the way to the edges. Now if I had more time, I would probably use a thick or a tacky glue, but since I'm doing this on video for you guys, I'm going to go ahead and use the hot glue gun. When you're finished and they're all glued together, you'll have something that looks like this, sort of like an accordion fold balloon. You may be noticing the strings. I did add a little bit of stitching to my balloon pieces before I glued them together, just for a little bit of texture, but it's not necessary. Now it's time to create the bottom or the basket of our ornament. And to do that, we're going to start by folding our burlap cording in half, and then we're going to string on this tiny little bell and then several buttons. Now I chose different sizes of buttons because I like the look of, you know, starting with the smaller one and going to the larger one, but any type of buttons will definitely do. And then I'm going to string on this sweet little spool. But before I put it on, I did decorate it with a small piece of this lovely eyelet trim. And all these layers together will give you the illusion of a tiny basket. Now it's finally time to put our balloon together. Leaving about an inch of cording at the bottom of your balloon, lay the string right down the center and add some adhesive. You do not want it shifting around. And then go ahead and close your balloon. I've added one more button to the top and tied a knot to keep it secure. And finally we're going to add our ribbon. Simply tie those pieces of ribbon, trim, and lace that we saved from the beginning to the top and the bottom of your balloon. Don't forget to tie a knot or bow at the top of your cording so that you can hang your ornament. And to finish it off, we're just going to add our banner to the front. To make it look just a little bit more like a flagged banner, I've folded the edges on each side just like this and add just a touch of glue to hold it there. And now our balloon is finished and looking super shabby and ready to hang on our tree. Thanks so much for joining me today, and I hope you have a very Merry Christmas. I know I will. <laughs> I'll see you next time.